time it's their work speaks for themselves. Um, awesome. I often hear girls saying, oh, I'm going to do uh, lethal up drops, or I'm going to do X, Y, and that, that's fine. When you're first starting out, you do have those, uh, those ideas and those thoughts. But honestly, when you're cracking out gorgeous enhancements or gorgeous, you know, manicures, gel, polished nails, whatever, people will say, wow, your nails are beautiful. Where did you get them done? And that's the biggest sort of endorsement. girls will ask me on Facebook, oh well the woman down the road is, and it's like hold on a second, why are you even worrying about the woman down the road? If you have a confidence in what you're doing, you don't even think about the woman down the road because you've got people coming through the door for your treatments because you're, you're great at what you do. And I also say that if you spend half the time worrying about your own salon more than the woman down the road, you're actually going to be more successful. If you want uh, to be able to attract uh, a, a certain clientele, you've got to invest in your environment, you've got to invest in the cleanliness and the sanitation and the systems. More importantly, you have to invest in yourself and in the education. You can't go in and just pretend that the work you do is absolutely perfect without actually investing in the continuing skills or the continuing education to develop those skills and also invest in the systems to be able to execute those uh, services so to the best of their ability. Yeah. So I think it's uh, education, uh, commitment, and focus on, uh, on the result you want to produce instead of what other people are doing.